This weekend, we celebrate the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Have you ever felt that you just couldn't get out of bed in the morning? I've had that experience too many times. But sometimes, perhaps, there's something that you dreaded that was scheduled to happen that day. It might have been a job interview or evaluation, maybe another day of a prolonged illness. Maybe you were just tired of taking care of the kids. We, we, we get it. Now, the story in the gospel tells us about Peter's mother-in-law who was bedridden and feverish. Like her, we too can be weighed down sometimes by the physical, emotional, or spiritual burdens that we experience. Lord knows we find ourselves in a similar situation with this pandemic. In these times of infirmity and uncertainty, we can become depressed we can find it almost impossible for us to love and care for others, even those closest around us. It can even become difficult for us to believe that God cares about us. Now, when Jesus heard about Peter's mother-in-law, what did he do? He went into the house, he took her by the hand and healed her. And as so often we find in the Gospel of Mark, immediately something happened. Well, this day the fever left the woman and she began to serve Jesus and his disciples. At first glance, we might ask, why is, why is that included? Why does she start to wait on them? Typical women's work, right? But no, I think there's something more. She recognized the power, the authority, the love that was there in the presence of Jesus. There's nothing, no illness, no sin, no demon that can stand against him. And so with grateful heart, she does what she does best. Mark gives us this story to show us how Jesus exercised his authority, his power, with love and compassion. Jesus loves us so much that he became a man and entered into our own weak and wounded condition. He triumphed over those conditions by giving up his own life on the cross. He took on our infirmities and endured our pain. And now what does he do? He invites us to receive his love, his healing power. In the Psalm in today's Mass, we read, he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Jesus wants to heal us in the deepest way possible by increasing our capacity to accept in faith all that he did for us on the cross by drawing us into an ever closer union with him. St. Paul wanted desperately to be more like Christ. He sought to become all things to all people, as we hear in today's second reading. My friends, when we believe in Jesus, when we partake of the mysteries at the altar, when we keep his commandments, the Spirit enters into us more deeply and gives us the power to reflect Christ's love more fully in the world. Jesus wants to direct our activities through his spirit, to move us to love the Lord and to serve his people with humility and compassion. Strengthened by the presence of God's Holy Spirit in us all, let us, you and me, let us walk in the authority and compassion of Jesus. And as we do, we will too receive the ability to become all things to all people as we serve them in love.